I'm the batting stance guy with my 2010 season preview of the Chicago Cubs. The Cubs 2009 game of Twister and Battleship thankfully fell apart like a Jenga tower with Milton Bradley's departure to the Mariners. We'll see if the Mariners get to gumdrop Mountain with Bradley this year and if Cubs bounce back with the acquisition of Texas Rangers 09 RBI leader Marlon Byrd and his Rangers hitting coach Rudy Jaramillo. I've noticed something strange through the years. When a team keeps a lineup together for a few years, that team often makes the playoffs. The Phillies made two World Series with roughly the same lineup for five years. Maybe that's why the Pirates keep losing. Too many trades? Nah, that can't be it. Getting rid of your whole team every other year wouldn't impact the team's chemistry. Anyways, D. Lee, Terrio, Aramis Ramirez, Soriano, even Kosuke have played together now for a while, so I've got high hopes. The Greg experiment is over. The Marmol experiment begins. Dear baseball gods, the friendly confines need a World Series. In a year when the Saints won a Super Bowl and Butler's played in a national championship, clearly the Cubs can win the series. I mean, what the Samarja is going on here? With my Cubs preview, this is Batting Stance Guy.